M0FXB, Bofeng UV32 and the Bofeng DM32 that has DMR. The airbound on the DM version is crystal clear. Not so clear on the UV, but they're both fun radios and, you know, they really have a presence, don't they? They're big devices. Someone asked me, how do you set your DTMF tones? Well, for me, out of the box, they, they just work. So I've put in here and we're in VFO mode. If you press and hold the green button, that's memory mode, that's that's our hotspot and also our analog channels. Press and hold, we're in VFO mode and that means we can now type a frequency. So if we go 434550, five, five, that's my node, which is a box in this room that I need to activate using a DTMF tone. So if I just press a second, you'll see if we're linking. That means we're linked. Now to connect it to a room, we need to put in a DTMF code. I will show you the settings, but for me, just out the box, it worked. So you press the PTT and you start to type. So press, and then we're gonna go. And it's connected. So imagine the box is a radio connected to a Raspberry Pi, which connects this radio to the internet, all this radio because the DMR side is a completely separate thing. You need a DMR hotspot and you also need, or a DMR repeater. So that works fine. I'll show you the settings, menu, <clears throat> down one, settings. Now to set your channel parameters, just go to channel set, set, and then look, you can put in your, you know, the type, whether it's digital analog on this one, TX power, CT, CSS, plus and minus shift, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but for DTMF, and I haven't changed anything, number four. Uh, and then if I just go into a couple, look, see there? I mean, it's a lovely color screen on this thing. It's, it's way more advanced than the UV32. But I haven't changed anything. Uh, pause, side tone. Oh, the side tone on mine is on. That means you can hear it. So it will actually work when it's silent as well, believe it or not, it actually does. So maybe that's the one you could be missing out on there. If your side tone's off, you might think it's not working. Um, exactly the same for this. So if I just go here, we're actually connected now. If I disconnect using my control panel, which looks like this, I highly recommend you get a node. So disconnect here, and it just uses an IP address. The node looks like this. And in there, there's a Raspberry Pi and a little Bofeng radio that transmits and receives. So on the UV32, we're now disconnected. And you know when you are, you just get that tone that you're hearing now. Let's turn it up. And then we're going to go press the PTT. I think so, I've turned it down. And it's connected. H-U-B-N-E. And that was done by the UV. Go menu, uh, radio set, got usual step, all that kind of stuff. See if I can find language. A few people get these in Chinese, don't they? Dual watch, they both have that. DTMF, let's have a look what we got here. Well, let's put it on to the bottom one. Turn it on. And then maybe we can hear it. But although it still worked without it, I'll just disconnect it so I can use my control panel. And you can connect to all kinds of rooms. But anyway, uh, press. So it didn't connect, but, but you can see now we can now hear it. And yeah, sometimes it won't connect first first time. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I hope this helps you with your DTMF on your both on DM32 and UV32. Get yourself a note, d7rpg at hotmail.com. It connects any budget radio, and it doesn't matter which one it is, yeah? I've um, got a little cheap Bofeng Mini here that everyone's actually really enjoying at the moment because they're such a pocket-type device, Bofeng UV5R Mini, and it definitely works. I'll just turn it up, as you can see. And uh, have some fun, d7rpg at hotmail.com, connects budget radios, these are £15, uh, maybe a couple of quid more for postage, uh, worldwide communication using the all star system, and it's not digital, although it connects into digital, this is an analogue system, bye for now.